From Rampage Jackson's explosive title fight to Randy Couture's being the oldest fighter to win a title, here are the luckiest fighters in MMA. Starting with the one and only Rampage Jackson, also known as Quinton Jackson. Rampage was definitely one of the luckiest fighters in the history of mixed martial arts, the MMA. In early days, he was relatively unknown, but he was able to secure a title shot against the legendary Chuck Liddell. Many factors contributed to Rampage's lucky break, especially the fact he had a formidable fighting style that was perfect for the UFC at the time. He was a heavy-handed striker with excellent takedown defense and grappling skills. I mean, his game was enough to leave anyone in awe. Other than that, his performances in other promotions, such as Pride FC, caught the attention of the UFC's management, who were always on the lookout for new talent, and Jackson deserved every bit of it. He also had the right connections, particularly with Dana White, the president of the UFC who was impressed with Rampage's skill and charisma. Despite being the underdog, Rampage managed to defeat Chuck Liddell in a stunning upset to become the UFC light heavyweight champion. It was a remarkable feat for someone who was not a household name at the time. Rampage's victory was a testament to his hard work and dedication, as well as his natural talent. He was also able to defeat Wanderlei Silva in a rematch, despite losing their two previous fights. This victory was also a product of luck as Wanderlei had been out of the octagon for some time and was not in top shape. But Rampage's preparation and game plan were impeccable and he was able to execute his strategy perfectly to secure the win. Speaking of that, Demetrius Johnson's luck in MMA is a bit controversial and now I can see why that was the case. Let's talk about that title fight against Joseph Benavidez. Johnson was definitely the underdog going into that one, with odds of around plus 220 against Benavidez's minus 260. But I wouldn't necessarily say he got lucky to win. Johnson's speed and technical striking were just too much for Benavidez to handle, and he was able to earn a split decision victory. Now, where the luck comes in is with Johnson's title defenses. There were certainly a few times when things could have gone the other way. For example, His first defense against John Dodson was a close fight that could have easily gone to Dodson if a few things had gone differently. And then there was the infamous Mighty Mouse submission by Ray Borg, where Johnson pulled off one of the most incredible finishes in MMA history. But here's the thing, Johnson didn't get to where he is just by luck. He is one of the most technically sound fighters in the game, with incredible footwork, striking and grappling. And he's also an incredibly smart fighter with a deep understanding of the game and a knack for making the right decisions in the moment. And that's what really counts, right? Title wins are not just about luck, but Vitor Belfort sure makes it seem so. Honestly, he has been one of the luckiest fighters in the history of mixed martial arts, if you ask me. He was able to achieve great feats at an early age, which propelled him to superstardom. At the age of 19, he won the UFC heavyweight tournament, becoming the youngest fighter to win a UFC tournament. It was a remarkable achievement, but it was also due to some fortunate circumstances. The UFC heavyweight tournament had a limited number of fighters. Only eight competitors took part, and some of them were not at their best. Belfort was able to capitalize on this and put on a series of impressive performances to win the tournament and his opponents in the final rounds were not as experienced as he was, which gave him an advantage. Belfort's victory was also due to his explosive fighting style. He was a highly skilled striker with quick hands and powerful punches, which made him a dangerous opponent for anyone. His speed and accuracy were unmatched by his peers, and he was able to finish fights in a matter of seconds. Belfort's luck continued when he won the light heavyweight title against Randy Couture. He was a significant underdog going into the fight, but he was able to catch Couture with a series of devastating punches early on, which led to a TKO victory. Although Belfort had trained hard for the fight, his victory was largely due to Couture's mistake of underestimating him. The list doesn't end here, though. I have to talk about Diego Sanchez. Sanchez is a name that is synonymous with the early days of mixed martial arts, and for good reason. He was one of the luckiest fighters in the sport, 
and he managed to defy the odds time and time again to achieve greatness. One of Sanchez's most impressive feats was winning the Ultimate Fighter, despite being one of the smallest fighters in the competition. He was up against some of the best up-and-coming fighters in the world, but he managed to outwork and outsmart them all. His grit and determination made up for his size disadvantage, and he was able to earn himself a UFC contract by winning the tournament. But that wasn't the only time that Sanchez proved his doubters wrong. He also managed to defeat Nick Diaz, one of the most dangerous fighters in the sport, despite being a significant underdog. Diaz was known for his striking and his ability to finish fights, but Sanchez was able to take him down and control the pace of the fight. It was a stunning upset, and it solidified Sanchez's place as one of the best fighters in the world. So how did Sanchez manage to achieve all of this success? Part of it was luck, to be sure. He was in the right place at the right time, and he had some fortunate breaks along the way. But he was also incredibly dedicated and hardworking. I mean, you just can't discredit that. He spent countless hours in the gym honing his skills and perfecting his craft. He was always looking for ways to improve, and he never gave up, even in the face of adversity. Now, wait till I tell you what's next. Ever heard of someone winning a fight at 43? Well, now you will. Randy Couture was one lucky fighter. Now, that's not to say that he wasn't talented or skilled. Of course he was. But when you look at his career and some of the fights he managed to win, you can't deny that he had some serious luck on his side. Perhaps the most notable example of Couture's luck was when he won the heavyweight title at the age of 43, making him the oldest fighter to ever win a UFC title. Now, let's be real. Most fighters are starting to wind down by their early 40s, but somehow Couture managed to defy the odds and take out some seriously tough opponents to claim the belt. Whether it was luck or skill, it's hard to deny that it was an impressive feat. And then there was the time Couture won the light heavyweight title, despite being a significant underdog against Chuck Liddell. I mean, come on, Liddell was an absolute beast at that point in his career, but somehow Couture managed to pull off the upset and walk away with the belt. Again, you could argue that that was skill or strategy, but there's no denying that Couture had some luck on his side. But here's the thing, luck can only take you so far. To have the kind of career that Couture had, one that saw him win multiple titles and become a legend in the sport, you also need talent, hard work, and dedication. And there's no doubt that Couture had all those things in spades. And that's all for MMA's Luckiest Fighters.